matter that much because it's global ban. So uh, no one can pick those. Absolutely. I mean, if Pretty this expected. is the same, yeah. If this is the same draft from Master of Arena Five, I think, yeah. like me and Dracon calculated back then, it was better to be drafting second. Um, really. I don't remember the details anymore. And also sure. the sims have changed a bit since there were like one or two patches since then. Right. I think the Ita Italians were OP back then with the condos. So basically whoever picked second was guaranteed to get Italians. But now it's different. Oh, wow. Well, we have some really... We have well, slots here as like, well. I don't like Mayans as the first pick. <laughs> really? I don't like it too, honestly. Well, it is yeah. hidden, uh, yeah. hidden Civ, so players do have the option to pick, obviously, any Civ they want in the game out of four. Uh, they can pick any three if, they, if the game goes to three games, of course. Uh, but I do like Burmese, pretty good in Castle Age, but late game, I wouldn't be too sure about Burmese. What do you, what do you think? Uh... Oh, Burmese, yeah, I mean, since Aram by cost got buffed, I mean... Rambis got nerfed, they're not that OP anymore, but mm -hmm. at least Mayans beat Byzantine, so that's good. But in overall, I think Mayans' eco is too weak and they kind of die to like infantry onager civs. Right. Or, yeah, so. Uh, Joey, your favorite civ Inca is there. What do you think about that? It's not my favorite civ actually, but really? I really like them. I thought it is your favorite civ. You always no, ask for, me, for it. No. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think Burmese is a good option, of course, but uh, I just don't like them in Imperial Age. They can be really strong against some Sivs, but... Uh, I'm missing yeah. Teutons so far. Like, Teutons is by far the best Siv not picked yet, in my opinion. Yeah, in my opinion, um, too. I mean, Aquino shouldn't pick Teutons because uh, Ovenka has Britons now, but before he could. And now probably Turks for the last one, let's see. Uh, I love Turks, they're very good, but isn't it kind of so obvious that this is what Turks are going to do and they usually end up getting trushed? Yeah, but <laughs> you can't really trust. I mean, if Turks defend the trash properly, which you can't do unless your map is terrible, then they, yeah. can, they, can, they can transition directly into fast imp from trash. And, and really punish you. Really yeah, and that's you. much better than pure fast imp because you have like 40 bills instead of 30 mm -hmm. and then just makes them crazy strong, so... Absolutely. Breaking. Interesting choice. What do you think oh, about this? Teutons would basically destroy all the uh, civs from Aquino. So Vikings, Incas, Burmese, and Byzantines all die hard to Teutons. But Ovenka civs more, to be honest. All right. Uh, Let's see who they ban. Uh, they don't ban anymore. Oh, they don't. Oh, so they can pick uh, any with, one of the four sieves and go with. Okay, them. okay, yeah. gotcha. Give them host uh, Zik. Absolutely, I was just wondering. I should. Give them host and there we go. All right, so there is a one minute thirty second delay, just like uh, every game, and this would prevent any you know funny stuff. So we will have to wait patiently for one and a half minute and see which divs they picked up first. Um, what was your bet, Modri? Which sieve would Steve Rogers do you think is gonna start with as a safe? I, I guess I don't know if you consider it safe sieve, but uh... I think he will start with Spanish, not because it's a safe sieve, but, but because it's kind of straightforward. Like you know what you want to do, go Kongs. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's just my guess. That makes sense. No, no, that makes sense. Did last, so he thinks that like. Um... Aquino will not expect him to speak Spanish. He he probably they both expect that the other guy will pick the Civ he picked first, probably, because he considers it the strongest. Yeah, I agree. He can pick whichever he wants. They're all good starting civs. I think it's gonna be Spanish versus Burmese, which is pretty interesting. Happens. 
Perfect. That's a good matchup, actually. Yep. Like in the past, when a Rambai were cheaper, that was just a total destruction for <laughs> Burmese because a Rambai cost wood and Kongs cost food. So it was much easier to boom with while doing a Rambai and you would get ahead and you would always aim faster. And they were trading kind of equally like five. Which Kongs one is Rogers and which one a Keno IND raft? Now and it's... you also get Borso for free, which no is love. Yeah, yeah, it's a big boost exactly for the economy. But now it's kind of closer because. So viewers are asking which one is which. Uh, for the viewers, housed like derp is obviously I'm guessing Aquino, and inexpensive waterfall falls would be Captain. I don't think he would actually, uh, actually would want to rename. I don't think they even saw it. Uh... Perfect. All right. And yes, I did stop the speed chat immediately after I saw it. All right. So we are in game and welcome. So we have Viking versus Slavs. And I would let Modri start with uh, Steve Rogers map and explain about his map and see what we have here. So I will just call him Ovenka because that's sure, how absolutely. I him Go ahead. From before and yeah, and I will make him blue and uh, Aquino red. That's kind of easier, I think, for all of us. Sure. One second. Let me try that. Uh, how do you switch to team colors? I'm a bit of new oh, here. Alt, there. Alt done. G. I yeah. I had it on tab actually done right away. Okay. Go ahead, please. Well, Ovenka's map is pretty good. It's actually very good. He has everything inside. One more outside. That's not so important. He will delete that little part of the wall. And then he has safe main stone, safe main gold, one extra gold. And actually in this type of war, I think it's important for the Viking and for the Slav to have some back map because mm -hmm. they will, if game Farms goes imperial, it right. would be infantry war. Yeah, same if, as if, if you would have like Celts or Japanese. And you, so you need a lot of farm space. And this is actually very important. Um, because the, Vi the Viking will try to get to elite uh, berserks, and Slavs will probably go to something like champs, each onager. Absolutely. But All right. Go ahead, Joey. You can definitely. Oh, sorry. Uh, you were saying something, Modric. Go ahead. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I, I was saying we should now go <laughs> to Aquino's map. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, go ahead, Joey. You may explain uh, Aquino's map. What do you think about it? Mm, yeah, well, uh, Kino map, uh, it's not that good like uh, Steve Rogers one, but uh, still not that bad too. He has uh, forward uh, main gold, which is bad, but he still have uh, another gold on the back. Both uh, stones are on the back too, and he has a, li a little bit of back pace, so he can boom probably there. Yeah, after he deletes what those I'm walls. What I'm expecting sure. uh, to, be to do with Vikings, uh, and uh, yeah. The, those maps are not that bad, except for that uh, main gold. Uh, on right, the front. right. And if we check the relic placement quickly, I would say a little bit favored to Aquino yeah. slightly. Uh, like he does have one and two right next to his uh, base, left and right. Uh, the other two are all kind of in the middle, yeah, but, but again, a little bit towards. Uh, those gates are bugged um, from Aquino at the top, so he can't go through them, which means that those relics on the right are actually. Aha, you're absolutely not right. Because you're he would have to make another right. gate. Yeah. Uh, but what he can do if this game is really going late, he could actually wall the top, uh, top of his base uh, from that little wall all the way where the wolf is all the way to the tree line and then he would get a whole lot of space actually or even he could go diagonal uh, and still be able to have a larger base I don't know if he would ever need to do that uh, but he can yeah. definitely expand a little bit if he really, really, really wanted to do that over But there. Viking kind of don't want it, doesn't want it to go really late because he doesn't have much chances. Absolutely. And what unit composition, Modri, would you think for would be best for Slavs? And then we will do the same for... Well, for Slavs, it's easy. I mean, so first of all, you can't really get rushed by Viking because, I mean, you have mangoes. redemption. So he can't do mangoes. Yep. Yeah, if he goes expos, that's kind of weak. You would need to have a really bad map for it to work. And sure. obviously, Viking is not going to go like Night Pressure or something because Slav Eco is just too strong to, and you can easily defend it. Uh, so basically Slav can boom in peace and uh, either invest a lot in getting the relics or mm. not that much. Like he can go one monastery, two monastery, he can go scouts, whatever. And then the Viking has, and, and basically boom up, uh, that's what I would do, just play it safe. I wouldn't rush with Slavs, even though you can. I think it's kind of risky. Just mm -hmm. somehow boom up to Siege Onager and 
champ with Druji and, and that's I it, right? Really. Destroy it. Like, yeah, it's not it's not easy to get to because it's a ton of resources, but I mean, you have a great eco. So does the Viking. So the Viking should actually, yeah. So he, as we said, he can't really rush. I mean, he can trash, but that's also not so smart against the Slavs because then the farm bonus really kicks in when you're waiting to go Castle Age. Mm -hmm. So basically, Vikings needs to do something early, in, in my opinion. So what um, unit would you think that would be requirement? And yeah, you... so I would say that actually the best bet would be to uh, like Fast Castle Scouts, take the Relics, take some map control, go 3 TC Boom, and then... Go, try to go up as fast as possible with forward castle and champs behind and then go trap champ to to slav that is that is kind of like what viking should do against scouts also because mm -hmm. scout is similar sieve so he can't really go arbalest siege ram push which is like a classic vikings early strategy because sure. uh i will obviously go onagers and not gonna work mm -hmm. and then you also can't take your time to boom up to zerks like go three four five castles because by then slav will have everything we discussed ready and basically slav champs to drugina equal zerks and they equal the zerks you know this is surprisingly the one question that was just asked uh in the twitch chat that how do berserks do against drugina champs and joy uh you can also uh give your two cents uh, do you think that would be a great or equal option to drugina champions well, I think they are pretty even. Not sure about this. Never tried before. Well, but, we have uh, you tried? <laughs> yeah, I mean, stat-wise, Zergs are obviously better. But the thing is that Viking eco bonus uh, is 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 not like um, existent anymore in Imperial because once Slav has hand card everything's the same but slav farm bonus provides you with like bigger amount of champs right and then the Drugina right. it makes their champs the best champs in the game so even if just in pure infantry war it would be kind of equal then slav has better and cheaper siege and either heavy scorpion or siege onager is a perfect addition to big infantry war so he slav has the advantage there right so we see a barrack coming up from akino i guess he's going to do some scouts so. Yeah, I hope he's Cross not going. Gold, but I don't think so. Crossbow, I, I think he's scout. Not. Yeah, he has two on gold. He's not going crossbow uh, archers most likely because then he would have three. Makes sense. Uh, I have my Twitch bot keep typing Neiman is king. I don't know if Neiman is actually watching. That's a fact. If, but, uh, yeah, I have an auto bot every five minutes. It keeps saying Neiman is king. As, as you should. <laughs> As it should. Oh man. <laughs> well, Neiman is kind of the mod of my Twitch chat. I don't know if you would be too pleased to hear that every five minutes, but I, he's I, also I, the mod. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I had to make him mod. I even donated him one dollar for coffee <laughs> the other day. I don't know why I did the that. Only but... channel where Neiman is mod, but <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Pleb channel, man. <laughs> well, uh, good. I good. Good. You guys really laid out exactly the foundation. So, from what I am understanding is, if uh. Vikings cannot deal the damage in earlier imp. This is gonna be a downhill battle for Vikings. Yeah, the, the window for Viking to to get ahead is from minute twenty five to forty. Like this is a very broad window, but he needs to. The Viking needs to get ahead in that time, or even win the game. And if he doesn't, if it gets to like one hundred eighty pop to one hundred eighty pop, he should automatically lose. Right, because Slavs can, I think, at this end of the game, because Vikings are lacking Siege Onagers and Bombard Cannon and Redemption Monks. At this point, Vikings, uh, you know, I think Slavs can just go full Scorpions and Rams with some Rams, yeah. trash oh, yeah. unit, like even Halberdiers, and just keep doing this for like five, six minutes, depending on how many relics each got. But I think this would be kind of messed up for, even Halberdiers would be kind of messed up to stop once they are fully Drashina with some Siege uh, mixed in with them. So Steve Rogers has only three on gold. I think he's gonna do just one Monastery maybe. Yeah, he would go for Boom with one Monastery most likely. So for map control, uh, Steve is really not going to do any scouts or archers, obviously. As from what we can see, we don't see a barracks, but uh, we do see a Kino with a stable and scout production, as we speak, are starting. So he already has two scouts on the field and three. The Go ahead. choice for Slav would actually be to do scouts himself, 
because he would still be easily keep up in the boom with uh, the Viking. Like if you have a civ advantage, you want to do everything the same. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I was just saying can, that if that door was door. kept open, no. that would have been a very, very, very start fast start to an entertaining game with three, four scouts and perhaps knights walking into that base. But that, that did not happen. And he might even know he's gonna. Oh, that's actually really bad. He lost his scout now. Oh. oh. I think he did not do scouts because of uh, the relics position. Because they are really far away from his map. Uh... Oh, it's just a boom and. Well, he's but... not even doing a monastery, okay? So, do you think, as of what we're speaking now, uh, he's not even going monastery at this point anymore? I think he kind of gave that up. Do you think Slavs with zero relics and Vikings with all five, potentially five relics, would still. Give uh, Slash the it's advantage. Like, it's good as position for Viking as you can get, and probably Viking is better here. But I would still prefer Slavs, just like due to my game game gameplay style. I sure I like I like to boom up and I'm talking. That makes absolute sense. All right, so we do see a monastery, a monk coming out with not even sanctity because I think there is no true danger anymore and from Aquino is just going to try to capitalize that and not even bother going sanctity all right so this will be a very peaceful game for the next i believe uh 10 minutes yeah, they're just boom now yeah both of them i'm just wondering if yeah he's adding the fourth tc ovenka is so it's gonna be three tc versus 40 yeah, absolutely he's doing okay so and, the thing is, yep. if Viking wants to go Berserks, then he needs to add the fourth DC. That's just. We'll and I he... believe yeah. the Berserks are extremely expensive. The, uh, the unique tech uh, that gives them yeah, faster regeneration. Yes. So they're not cheap at all whatsoever. No, you need four, no, you need four TCs. You need like click up with a hundred bills or something like that. To Absolutely. Imperial. You can't away with three because then you will hit imp and then you will wait for five minutes before you can up fully upgrade your <laughs> berserks absolutely absolutely and as we uh see this their villager count is surprisingly close even though uh we see him with a monastery and scouts but again free wheelbarrow and handcart yeah, but that's the viking bonus like yeah. viking has the best early castle age boom of all civs because like instant handcart is instant. a absolutely. huge boost but as long the longer it goes, the better for Slav, right? Because the more farms there will be on the map and So in my understanding, Vikings will benefit all the way until the enemy or opposing civ gets the same handcart, but the difference would be their bonus stops once everybody has those tags like handcart. Right. But uh, Slavs will keep benefiting throughout the whole game. And Slavs benefit most because like Farming bonus is the strongest eco bone. I have, the end. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I want to say, what is your take on getting a, ha a wheelbarrow right away with Slav uh, as a sieve? When you're booming, especially three or four TCs in this case, do you recommend getting wheelbarrow right away as many players sometimes do? Oh, no, I don't like that. I like to have a little bit more bills at start. Like, I like to get four TCs as far if I was doing the same thing he's doing, mm -hmm. I would like to keep like the moment i can keep 40 cs running and i can afford wheel i will do it and then when it researches for sure i will have the resources for instant art right afterwards and so the one of... difference we can notice right away is captain has almost 300 uh stone in the bank uh but what i would like to see and correct me if that's a bad strat is uh aquino to kind of move forward with one will and try to start you know hammering that wall Hopefully to get a reaction out, but if you see, for some reason, Steve is already putting a Steve, uh, Steve workshop by minute 22. Uh, that could be for him to go up, perhaps? He's, that's his building? Well, the or... thing is, like, I would agree with that, but he, he scouted all around uh, Slav's walls, and there aren't, like, there is one side gold and one side stone, which Slav doesn't really need outside. I mean, mm -hmm. close to the walls, so it, it it's not like he can expect to do a lot of damage. Like Right. And and since we see the map, we can see that he can't do any damage even if he Absolutely. Then he would actually have to go for 
a couple uh, mangos and then maybe mess up some knights behind kind of like what melkor used to do and then he would delay his imp time a lot but he would get in like at the moment slav would click up and then he would raid with 12 or 15 knights try mm -hmm. to kill like 20 wills which is very possible at that point right. and then go up later but you do that when you have a better imperial sieve like uh, in this match right very risky um as we uh speak uh he's doing the exact same thing at this point uh Aquino is uh, putting up a siege workshop and joey if you notice the the map awareness uh, i'm not map awareness map scouting uh we see Aquino with obviously scouted every part of this map with almost five relics almost coming in the fifth one i believe is coming in somewhere uh and uh we do see steve rogers with pretty much very less scouting about the base of aquino at this point oh he's going arbalest which is yeah but he has a lot of villagers on uh, stone too i think uh, he will do like uh castle, right? he should send him right now to uh unix uh, unix probably something like oh, that he's going arbalest and traps uh but he needs the castle to be forward like he needs like he's already 50 percent up and i mean 40 percent up he should already be building the castle uh you mean uh aquino right i can get the viking perfect, exactly perfect yeah. sorry your uh audio both of your audio got a little bit choppy i'm not sure if viewers were able to hear that but i will just reiterate quickly so you were saying uh aquino should have a castle soon and we already see an actual castle coming up from steve roger as well because he does no, he, he he can recognize that this will be a really hard, fast push uh, from Aquino because he knows the window would be very small. Yeah, so he, this is an important moment. Like this is basically where game is decided. So he has those scouts near the gates. The uh, Slav can see that they have no upgrades in attack, so he can judge that he's probably not going berserks, or although he might just upgrade the armor. But if he had the castle there and he would do fletching just to confuse the Slav, then he, and he would do what I said, he would mess gems behind and right. at the, he can trap the castle and then just, re because he doesn't need his own castle, just lose both castles and by that time the gates would be open and then he would come in with two handed swords while Slav would only have onages and the game would basically be lost. That's not... As that you were just saying, we do see um, standard infantry coming in from uh, Steve, uh, as you just mentioned, and he does have those two onagers in there. And I'm yeah, guessing... and look at the resources just... difference. Look at the <laughs> food and goal count. Like this is this is the Slav versus any other Sith <laughs> when you reach Imperial. Uh, what do you think, uh, Joey? He's gonna do uh, right away. Uh, Onagers up upgrade uh, right away, I'm guessing. Right, Joey? Yeah, I think like it. it makes sense, yeah. And on the other Onager. side, we will see Aquino probably doing uh, Rams, Siege Rams soon. Yeah, just Onagers and Standard Infantry, and they should be fine. Is he doing Traps at all? Let's see. No, he's not doing it. He cannot see the castle. I oh, know he can see it. Uh, as Modri mentioned, uh, if uh, Steve Rogers does click that castle, he will see 8 plus 3. Uh, oh, but well, then Arbalist is already walking in, so he I does know, know it's for obvious. sure. Yeah, it's 100%. Yeah, it and Onager is done. And I, why do I have a feeling this will be a very short match? Because all those rams will be dead in the next 30 seconds. They are so completely not work. Work. Oh. Right. Like. So that push fail. Obviously. Yeah, Ar Arbalest push does not really work. Unless you're against a really bad set yeah. like Vietnamese, which will barely click in by now. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> and, terrible. And, and Klaus is doing traps already. I remember a few games, Modri, with you. I was your pocket and you were uh, you Vietnamese, and I remember how that game went. That was not the best game because just me yeah, yeah, I know. Is just... and I was versus Viking I think yes uh... yeah, absolutely you're versus <laughs> Professor 4k who was Vikings uh... and by the time you're right you he is pushing with Rams with siege Rams you're like all right I'm almost getting to him <laughs> and that's not what you want to I do. also did some Titanic I think I did like uh, lose 20 wheels on a forward castle or something like that oh, but yeah it was <laughs> crazy uptime difference like I think Vietnamese have minus three percent Bill working nerf or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hated nerf. Oh, this is gonna be a doubt castle, uh, right, Joey? 100% doubt yeah, castle. Yeah, of course it will be a doubt castle, my friend. 
<laughs> oh, those are dead villagers. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, he yeah. is missing Siege Engineers, which I would really love to see Steve Rogers do it because he does have a thousand twelve hundred wood and food and gold. Uh, he should immediately, in my opinion, Siege Engineer as well. It's even better. <laughs> oh, really? That's true. So those villagers are dead, hundred percent. Ten bucks. Those are one more shot and they're dead. Come on, Steve. And I think he's misclicking on the wheel, so yeah. now there we go. go. Oh, that's it. That gets my guy. Oh, even Druzine is up already, man. 32 minutes. Oh. This is crazy. Last like, he's not even doing SO. He doesn't even need. He's not even doing, uh, uh, what do you say? Um, uh, chemistry or. Uh, Siege engineers, and he's still just pushing like it's a piece of cake at this point. Really. Uh, what can Akina do at all, if anything, at this point? I think this game is already over. Game is over, yep. And as you can see, Steve is walking out to take the extra gold on the top of the map. Uh, his champions did kill all the scouts over there. Very good move. And we just gonna see Siege over here. Full trap siege, and he's not gonna even bother with killing with these buildings. I don't know. Traps. Akino is gonna transition to berserks now, but let's. Well, there are two castles. Can he even do uh, do anything with that? Uh, enough uh, yeah, castles. I think I have three traps that it's gonna start hitting there <laughs> soon. So. Yeah. Uh... Like, he could switch to Cavalier and try to hit that, but then again, in one second, uh, Steve would switch to Halberdiers and it's game over. Yeah, and Vikings Cavalry are not the They're best. The same as Knights, only plus 20 HP. Yeah. And actually, they don't have Bloodline, so they are basically the same as, yep. like, normals. Uh, and you can look at the score difference is increasing by almost 2,000 points. And hey, Akino is doing Cavalier, uh, as we just speak. Uh, Oh, Quite okay. surprised he is doing that because I think he wants to at least get rid of that siege. But then again, it would be just a matter of seconds. Uh, Steve will. I mean, Steve can. I mean, look at the gold banking by Steve. It's 2000 gold. This is just crazy. Yeah, and that's why Slav is so powerful because you can have two both side goats, uh, golds outside, and for infantry and siege armies, you don't need that much gold. So you can camp inside until you're ready to, co to come out. Oh, well. uh, he is getting masonry so he can get a, that a little extra buff on his uh castles but that is about that's 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 about it uh not sure what the else this will uh, what how this will go i mean this, i think he's quite in the panic mode but uh i think the fate is sealed at this point I mean, he did spend all that resource on Elite Berserks. Don't you think it would have been better that he at least tried to get champions? At this point? Well, he, I think it's like the only logical transition to go for Elite Berserks, but probably with castles like behind. The, so to make castle that can be that you can't hit them from outside the walls, right? Like all the way in the back of his base for the, and not know. necessarily there, but maybe behind the main TC, right? Just far enough so sure. that the trap need to first get inside and then yeah so that you have a bit yeah. more time but that is an excellent trade for akino if you notice he is trying to snipe all those uh, uh onagers but i would still want to see those traps die as soon as possible uh okay that castle will live but now the question is does he have enough stone to get a third uh, another second castle and hopefully push out Oh, and why does he only have three relics? Where are the? Oh, the, uh, all right. Yeah, he's. I was putting them on the back. Yes, he's trying to save them. I mean, those berserks are pretty good, but again, I am more concerned that it's only one castle left. While the production from Steve is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight barracks in total. So one castle versus eight barracks. Yeah, the small mistake here from Slav was doing the siege ram. Like, he shouldn't do any rams at all. The army that he had was perfectly adequate. He just needed to upgrade to siege onager, and that's it. Like, instead and of doing the deal. That, And completely close the deal with that that's, army. That's the safest way to play. Like, obviously, he's in head, and he knows, like, he maybe wanted to finish the game faster with siege rams, but 
turns out yep. it doesn't work. What do you think about heavy scorpions in this point? They are cheaper than any other scorpions because of Slavs and they Just would actually shred everything, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, as Slav you can add heavy scores since the Ooh. Viking doesn't have home. Oh, look at the shots. Oh, 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 this is GG. I'm sorry I interrupted you, Moji, but that's that was the yeah, yeah. shot oh, it, of the century it, it, over there. Oh, yeah, it was the shot of the century. <laughs> yeah. It was probably the right? shot of 10 minutes, maybe. But... <laughs> uh, I mean, there are definitely better shots than that, but uh, this was the shot for century for Aquino in that moment. Losing every unit that he had. But, I mean, he did get two traps, but uh, it's, 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 it's over. That's why onagers are, I mean, siege onagers are the best addition to infantry. Like, even in Kelt War, if, let's say, somehow nobody snowball, snowballs and everybody has, like, 60 elite board raiders, like, adding 10 siege onagers is much better than 20 heavy scores. Yes. Some, players, some top players wouldn't agree on that, but, like, that's my opinion. Right. I think if you do a minimum micro with them, they will do a lot more damage than just scores. I have a feeling in the next 30 seconds, uh, this will be a game over and Aquino will gracefully tap out. Because... Well, they are mining uh, gold together on the left really? side. Really? Oh, yeah. what a rainbow like, over there. Trend. But here comes two champions to disrupt that piece right over there. And oh, the next one minute, <laughs> we will have all blue villagers. Oh boy. And you can look at the population difference. I think he will drop under 100 in just about now. And there is the graceful tap out. I would say well played, but you are absolutely right, Modri. Archers was uh, an arrow to the knee that he did to himself. Yeah, it, it was a bit of a sieve win. But of course, he had some chances if he played it uh, correctly. But I don't didn't... really like Vikings pick on the Nothing. tournament. Of course, they can be strong against some seats, but uh, those are, there are a lot of like better options. About average. I think it's like top 15, 20, like around the 15th spot since all sieves are 31, right? Absolutely, and we can see this as uh, uh, the uh, Civ picks again. So Vikings and Slavs are out. We are remaining three Civs: Inca, Burmese, Byzantine. Well, or actually, Latino. yeah. Uh, since he picked Vikings, like Slav is the worst opponent he could get. Like he would do well against Britons, Mayans, or Spanish. Absolutely. Uh, which Civ do you think uh, Joey, uh, Steve is going to pick next after um, Slavs are already out? Now he has two either Archer Civs or Spanish. Mm, let me check. Uh, so we have Mayans, Britain, and Spanish or Steve. Mm, I, have a, or I have a feeling Spanish is going to be next for yeah, Steve. Yeah, Britons or Spanish probably. I think he's going to go or Britons because now that Vikings are out, Britain is probably a safe no i don't know still it's hard against yeah, Byzantine is here, so... i mean yeah. if he does go britons and then you have inca as you're opposing this i don't think it would be the easiest match or even versus uh, byzantine right yeah that's but also the both yeah, know, rams. yeah maybe also, just uh, spanish yeah. and play aggressive i don't know and what do you think Modri uh, would be the next pick for... Uh... Oh, the game has already that. started. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh, we got Mines versus Inca. Two Mezzo Sims. Okay. Uh, almost could be a classical if it was Aztecs and uh, Mayans. But uh, we got Mayans and Inca. And Loom is coming right away. What a noob. <laughs> well, not a noob, but that's what you should do. <laughs> Uh, there we go. All right, so uh, Joy, I'll let you explain the map this time for Aquino. Go ahead. Aquino, okay, all right. Let me check. Well, we have uh, a forward gold again, uh, forward mainstone, not that forward, but still. And uh, one extra gold on the back, uh, and the second gold is actually outside. Uh, a little bit of back base, uh, it's not the best map at all mm -hmm. for Incas, especially if you're playing against Mayans. And uh, yeah, that's all. All right, and Modri, what do you say about Eve Rogers' map as Mayans? This map, he has safe main gold, but that, that wood line on the left side is kind of weird. Absolutely. It's connected, right? Yeah. Yeah, so he can delete that wall. I don't know. Everything else is forward. 
So. Everything else is forward, but he is Mayan, so he may be. So he will to need go. the stones, right? And they are both like Inca should trash this matchup. I think. I think Mayans are a little bit better overall, not much better. Inca, you I... said, right? No, Mayans. Mayans. Mayans are better. Okay. Mayans. Yeah, I prefer yeah. Mayans to this matchup. Yeah, Mayans are better for sure. Although me personally, I would prefer to have Inca. I don't like Mayans that much. I don't. I don't play so well with them, mm -hmm. but I do think that in general they are better than Incas. Yep. Absolutely right. So let's see if this would be a trash by any chance. We can keep a close eye on the wood lines. Well, you could still have four and do archer trash, but uh, in this case we do see four on wood. I doubt this would be a trash game. Uh, otherwise, he would have probably taken his first boar, right? And the Kino is not a trusher anyway. I oh, think. really? Yeah, and he has uh, four on wood already. Uh, by the way, I uh, wonder, what do you think about that stone on the left side from uh, Kino's base? Uh, it's, as I said, it, it's... Uh, oh, you mean the bugged part of that? Yeah. It would be a little bit bugged. I mean, he could still access it by one, two, three, four, five villagers uh, at best uh, in the very start. Uh, do you think, yeah. Modri, that's correct? Five villagers? Good. Uh, well, two, two tiles are accessible and two are not, so I don't think it's bugged. Right. So well, I think the saturation could at least be still four to five villagers easily, right? For sure. Okay, okay. I mean, I don't know what the rules are, but... I, uh, no, uh, I, the yeah. rules are pretty simple on that. If uh, generally, uh, just common sense, if you really think this will hinder the game big time, then we uh, players do have until five minutes to ask for a re. And in this very case, he did scout that stone and he did not ask for a re. So I think he is not expecting this to be uh, the biggest issue of his. Project. But also his Incas, it's not like he desperately needs both stones against me. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so, yeah. No, you are absolutely right. And let's check. Uh, oh, he did actually do the little uh, house over uh, the gates. I don't know if he was expecting a tower hop, but uh, I don't think I've seen Captain ever uh, crushing on Arena. I've rarely... I, I don't think really? I've seen it since. Yeah, I haven't seen him yet do that. Uh, have you seen him do that? Yeah, he trashed me last uh, time. I think yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, at least the games I've played. I mean, he tells me to trash for sure because I love doing that. He's like, all right, sure, go ahead, trash. But uh, I have I haven't seen him personally trash anybody, at least in any of my team games. Uh, so I wasn't quite sure if he's the kind of guy who would trush. And as Modri pointed out, Aquino isn't the kind of guy either. So uh, Casey well, Maya the run will never be trash. Like, oh, really? Maya should never trash Inca, so. <laughs> well, yeah. that's true. But go ahead, Joey. <laughs> What? what? Uh, uh, you, did you say something about uh, trash? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, sometimes the voice gets a little chopped off, so I. Yeah, that's for why for I me asked. too. Yeah, I don't know if that's like Discord issue or with. Uh, uh, it is Discord. Yes. Uh, it's. Uh, I mean, my bandwidth should be fine. Uh, but I think it's just generally Discord and the distance between uh, servers over here, essentially. Uh, all right. So Steve is going on stone on. Relatively soon, is he expecting a trash? Or is he going I to think trash? It is uh, pretty standard if you go like 27 up. Yeah, but he's going to stone right away. I would prefer to see him going on uh, gold first because he did loom. But yeah, let's see this build order. Uh, Modri, isn't this uh, kind of awkward to go on stone so early? I would say it's not the right choice to go castle age plumes. Which is what? Oh no! Yes, uh, which is what he's gonna do because basically in um, Bololo Kingdoms it's kind of been uh, like the meta for even in Mayan War that it's more efficient to Eagle Warrior and Trap if you have a couple of gold safe inside and then you can beat the guy who goes Castle Age Plumes. Mm -hmm. But if you're Inca, you can do that even more effectively because you have extra mm -hmm. armor. Uh, a little bit better eco. These are quite uh, okay. Uh, you can't do really any damage in Castle Age with plumes unless your opponent really titanics. Like right. easy, you can do some scorps, not even mangonels, and defend, and then just get way ahead in eco. So uh, right, and this is quite uh, a unique build order. At least I'm not familiar with this. I mean, I don't know a whole lot of one v one build orders, but. Uh, no gold for a Kino, only stone. So is he planning to sell and buy gold? But... Yeah, he will. He will. He will collect 10, 20 gold just in case, and then he will sell stone, which is ninety-one 
uh, right. at the uh, 91 gold for 100 stone, and he's collecting 20. Well, he, actually, he's this is a misplay right here right. for third time. So maybe he will sell 100 uh, wood. That's also possible, and then you get 70 gold, and then you can have 200. Yeah, they need uh, to collect like 30 gold, something like that. There's actually uh, something in the Twitch chat that um, saying the extra armor on eagles d doesn't help them against elite plumes. They only have nine damage. Uh, any of yes, you can elaborate on that? Well, elite plumes do two damage because they have a bonus against infantry. So they and that bonus gets applied last, so they automatically do two damage whether it's against the scarrow. But to get to, but you need elite plumes for that, right? And fully upgraded. So that's not so easy to do if you're already doing plumes in Castle Age. Actually, sometimes you can do that uh, armor bonus. I'm not sure if you can do it even before the elite eagle, but mm -hmm. it can be really powerful when you have like it's 100 pop against 100 pop and you're trebbing the main castles and you're just basically sacrificing suiciding eagles to buy time and then once main runs out of castle right all right i see uh, i see your point and as we can see what a pretty quick uptime from aquino to castle age 1444 as we can expect from 27 pop and captain chose 29 pop uh and then that's probably because of uh, as you mentioned he's gonna go plumes over here would you instantly do fletching, obviously, and what do you think about Botkin? Do you think it's something you should take as well? Or your like plumes? I said, I think, I think Castle Age plumes are... Sorry, you got cut much... off cut off there again. Could you repeat that, please? Oh, hello? Yeah, so yes. I think in general Castle Age plumes are very weak. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can to achieve much with them they, it makes sense to do them when you're going when the opponent is going castle age uh, i mean unique unit like if you're versus kongs right maybe versus janis things like that but if you're versus inca like obviously he will either go siege defense or basically that's the only thing he will do so i don't think it makes sense to slow yourself down with plumes that's just my oh that makes complete sense uh i should update the scoreboard as of the twitch users uh yeah, it seems like he will. I mean, if they were really close, Maya could go for something like one or maybe even two TC fast imp, mm -hmm. and then he would make like a forward castle or maybe the second castle. That's something Winchester would do, I think, with mains. He loves those type of orders. But then you also gotta have like Winchester archer micro, and you gotta micro those plumes nonstop against pretty much everything that's coming out over there. Hard, yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, so let's see. Three TCs total for Aquino right now. And uh, I mean, he doesn't have any gold. Obviously, that makes sense. And for Steve Rogers, uh, let's see. He is building the castle right away. And no second TC. Instead, he is doing a mon monastery quite in the back. What do you think about that? Um, he expects to lose map control late castle age so he doesn't want to bother with moving the relics then so but that's not a good choice <laughs> uh, the right. time monk takes from that monastery to the gates is like a lot of time <laughs> for a monk. Hey, of course man uh, but for maybe yeah but maybe in my mind he is planning to get some plumes so he's expecting oh it's fine even if i take my time collecting oh, relics i can probably uh, get them uh, oh yes uh, you're right uh there is a fourth tc coming up this is quite greedy in my opinion i don't like that i don't like that i think that's that's a mistake incas don't have expensive army so uh, unless he would go for kamayuks which doesn't make really much sense and if you go for eagles or siege rams or Mm -hmm. Basically, he will go for egos. That's the most logical choice against Mayans. And then 40 Cs is too much. You just slow yourself. So we have one dead eagle from Kino, and but he does know exactly what's out on there on the field, which are plume archers. Do you think Akino will even bother picking up a single relic at this point? Oh, he won't because he didn't do a monastery. But I think what he should have done would be go fast up, like 25 plus 2. Mm-hmm. I don't remember, and then go insta monastery and try to get those two relics close to the gates, which he obviously could do before the plumes are out, and then just chill and boom. And then Mayan can get the rest, uh, I mean, the other three relics, but he will be much behind in eco. And 
Absolutely. So guys, do you think is uh, Steve Rogers trying to do a fast team for one TC because he's not putting other TCs right now? He's also not making... Uh, he, he hasn't decided yet. <laughs> uh, this is quite messed up in my opinion because I mean that 300 wood would, should be either a TC or farm or go, even Megos. He will go fast. He will do handcart now instantly or maybe not. No, he's not doing actually, but there's a lot Going of forward workshop. Oh, yeah. Okay, so one of the three, as I mentioned, yeah. either farms, uh, TC, or ah. something. That's that's what he's doing. The okay. second castle is gonna be on Akino's main gold, and and Akino is, yeah. I mean, he does have an outpost there, so he would be able to see that coming. Uh, but what? But he Hunter, what have, can he even do? Have... So instead of the fourth TC, Akino should have made first monastery, and now he should have a siege, siege workshop, workshop and, and to at least prevent a, a forward castle, right? Right. Uh, but now if he gets a castle on that main gold, he's basically going to be GG because he will have one gold, and with one side gold, you cannot go elite eagle warriors. And he's going to be so much later imp because he did fourth TC. So. And if we count the tiles on that gold, if you only have four tiles, I mean, that is yeah. a lot of gold, but that's about it. Once that runs out... The egos are expensive. They and are 50 gold per unit, and that's exactly. a lot. Exactly. So exactly when that runs out, this guy will have no answer to what's coming to him then. Yep. And I think oh. uh, Civil Rogers just know about that because he can see the second gold outside. Yep. So he knows already that uh, Akina has only one gold on the back, and that's all. And as we can see the resources, as Joey pointed out, uh, Joey, as we can see, this is going to be looking right up. And as Modri, you mentioned, there is indeed a castle coming on Aquino's face, right on that gold. With a mango as well, to make sure this is not going to be a doubt castle. Yeah, and he's close to click up as well. Yep. I think he will click on the next 30 seconds. And there comes the castle, right there, as Modri said. So Modri, do you think this game is already decided at this point? I, think that I mean, it's it's open game still, but I think you wouldn't want to be in Akino's position. I'm I'm assuming. In any case, at this point, at this point not because he he's out of gold. That's the main problem. If he had another gold inside, he would still be in great position. He would just have to do like a castle in the middle of his base somewhere mm -hmm. out of reach of the traps and then like like right now he should idle everything and go up and actually if he was uh, only on three tcs like the moment he saw that second castle being built he could idle everything and click up like click up. The, he would be up the same time with two extra tcs what i'm guessing is this castle will die instantly as it's going to get completed as, as you can see it's 26 minute one tc fast aim. it's really not that fast right <laughs> right it's not and and the reason is because the uh, mayans have such terrible farming and also because he did a mangonel and a bunch of army and uh and and, and, right yeah. the one thing i will notice is i mean steve will reach imperial age with essentially those 42 wills that he has and Aquino would be close to 100 wills very soon, and it's if he loses this game, it would be more like the Eddie style of 40 will kill your guy with one TC somehow, and uh, that would be quite yeah, quite funny. Plume I think uh, honestly, or... if he just goes castle age skirms, or no, he's clicking up already, just skirms, uh, rams, and uh, mangonel, he should be fine because he, he has only know. plumes and traps, man. Yes, sorry, he, doesn't, he probably doesn't know. Uh, yeah, he probably doesn't know that uh, Ovenka is up because the score is not. I, I mean, the score is pretty close, right? As you can see, and he knows he did some army, and he knows that Incas have better eco. So maybe he thinks that Ovenka is booming on two or three TCs. But as yeah, you pointed but like, out, uh, uh, two or three minutes ago, it was a lot of score difference. I think uh, he should have uh, uh, noticed look it. of this. But here's the thing, here's the thing, uh, as uh, Modri mentioned, I mean, I do see one, two, three, four, five, six barracks. Do you think he would even have gold to produce a single eagle? Once I'm he looking, he has 200 gold, so... What is he gonna <laughs> make? He... Yeah, do you need eagle yeah, well, upgrade? He... Go ahead. No, just go ahead. Yeah. He can just sell resources, he has a lot of economy. 
Stone, uh, wood, uh, food. Uh, yeah, water. but how many times can he do that? He can just do the eagle. Like now he's done eagle upgrade. He can, with the moment he does elite with anything, there's zero gold, already zero gold. And you can see it's a fifth TC coming up as we speak. Oh boy. Yeah. What? Yep, there's a fifth TC right there oh. on the wood line. Yeah. Well, not right still fourth now. TC, but it's still the fifth one he built, right? All right now, Ovenka should send some wheels forward to make some gates in front of those traps. And he should only do two traps like he did right now. And then from now on, three traps is too much, actually. Just focus on plumes, getting bracer, university, ballistics, because he knows that he took Inca off. Oh, right. See, he's doing the gates right now. That's exactly what I meant. And he knows that Inca is off his main gold and one side gold. So he basically knows that he either has only one side gold or maybe he has a small extra inside. And that's about so it. He will yeah, yeah, and he can starve him out of gold, basically. So actually, under time pressure now, not the opposite way. Even though he has twice as many bills, it's kind of a funny thing. Uh, I, you, you predicted yeah. this so well. And uh, Joey, if, he, if what, he did, what you suggested, if he did that with rams and skirms, he could essentially really stomp his main push. But at this point, there's, I don't think so, way back. I mean, he is sitting on 34 yeah. gold. What I mean, will he do? He should have done that castle uh, more on the back, I think, because he's completely in range of the traps. And just uh, maybe 15 eagles, uh, castle age eagles, skirms, uh, siege ram, and uh, it should be fine because he has uh, uh, like 60 more villagers. And the only one yeah, thing... It, uh, it doesn't really work, you know. Rooms. Skirms, because he already, the man already has two mangonos behind the castle, so he can survive a, a, uh, a ram. And ram if you push. fail, yeah, see those gates, nice. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 this is. And those, are, those are not elite people, so they're not gonna yes. do anything. Uh, they're already dead in my position. One mangano shot, uh, and that's 55 yeah, yeah. HP there to 40, go. and then this is dead. This is yeah. over. Instantly. There you go. All cleaned up. And Bracer plumes are extremely yeah. strong. Yeah. And that's about all the army uh, we will see from Akina in this match, I believe, with 1,000 food, 1,000 gold. I mean, 1,000 wood, no gold whatsoever. And there he goes, he's starting to sell. But you know you're in a bad spot when you have to do this. But he cannot kill that castle, two castles, with anything, because... Yeah. And Elite is still coming, but again, uh, he did manage to get 700 gold somehow selling everything, but uh... But guys, you think with uh, 6 Siege Ram uh, or 7 you cannot push Castle Age Mangonels? Uh, oh, if, plumes. Uh, so, he, uh, the man has big line of sight around his castle, so he now he can see the workshop, right? But before... There was no workshop anywhere near, and if he saw the workshop, he would just do two barracks and make find some eagles of his own, and then he can like patrol those eagles, and they will hit the ramps and micro plumes on whatever else army. But he this has. is the it, big it fight really work. right now, as you're seeing, and I will put my money on Steve. So the only way to beat such man aggression is to get to elite eagle and trap. Like anything else, it doesn't work. It's tried a lot of times obviously now it's not gonna work because he didn't have gold but if he had more gold in the back he would pull it off for sure and in my opinion uh steve rogers barely lost an eagle or two he did lose the trebs he did lose that for sure but look at the army difference right now we're looking at 16 versus almost 30 over here uh well it is 20 now and that is a good elite eagles but how long can he do this had to rate the uh, side stone from man, but hey, mm -hmm. there's something. <laughs> but here's what Captain did. He did uh, we, what I completely missed uh, over here is he did reach out and started taking gold from uh, Steve Rogers. Yeah, I'm watching of this right now. Yeah, and but... thanks for pointing that out, uh, Modri. This is why you're here, right? <laughs> we would miss these kind of things. I'm more for the theory. I don't really <laughs> see those these things on the map. I was also surprised to see this forward. <laughs> no, we completely missed this. I know. I think a lot of viewers will be like, "Wait, whoa, whoa, where did that come from?" And I'm, well, there it is. 
He's saturating that gold as hard as he could, but the elite is also coming in as we speak. For Deep Rogers. I'm quite surprised uh, this wasn't over already fast enough. Uh, so he needs to use, like, he's running back and forth with elite plumes. He needs to actually use them to kill stuff. Like, uh, uh, at uh, least the like... uh, villagers, right? Yeah, like constant micro, right? Send 10 plumes here, 20 plumes there, put them in different control groups, and just micro all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, this way, he might still lose the game. Let's see. Those two rams are working, but I think they will die pretty quickly. Uh, at least one of them is dying. Almost. Uh, I think we'll get inside of the eco right now. Those are almost fully upgraded plumes, correct? Are they missing... Uh... Uh, yeah, just armor and some rings, probably. Right. Probably no, it is covering already. Oh, he did? Some ring? Okay. Yeah, he has arch and agent. Yeah, but he didn't do some ring. But so. man, this is quite interesting. Look what uh, Steve is doing. He, I mean, sorry, Akino is doing. He's actually crushing the castle directly, but those two eagles may just kill those two rams without the castle dying. That was a brilliant move, but I think he should have had some of his. So now he there. needs to run in with rooms. It's very important he starts killing bills. Like, this is the whole point of his. Right. Run in, kill, kill 30 bills, and then game will actually be done. Uh, because as we see, only 16 military from Aquino, and that is not enough to clean these plumes. Go in the wood, go all, all directions. And... The resources are quite similar, except the gold count for Aquino and Steve. That's one thing I can notice. Uh, so but another, yeah, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, another sad thing for Aquino is that even the extra bolts are on the left side where <laughs> castles are. So Absolutely. You can, uh, whole right side. Uh, Modri, um, you're dropping over here. Is it possible you oh, can just sorry. connect, disconnect by uh, for one moment? Just connect, disconnect your uh, channel. Yeah, yeah. Do that. <laughs> uh, I will disconnect you, just rejoin. I will disconnect you. And he should be able to rejoin. Hello, hi, welcome again. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's now it's better. Okay. It's better. Yep, yeah, because of those siege rounds. Okay, so it's GG basically. <laughs> the other way around. <laughs> yeah, that's all it's uh, just six rounds and you cannot do shit with Catholic Manuel. Uh, but here's the mistake that Steve Rogers did, which uh, Modri pointed out. He should have used those plumes cons constantly throughout the game and made sure that advantage from uh, the, his uh, eco is taken away, that the big uh, villager advantage he has. But those plumes kind of did not kill any eco, so they but were just... Those plumes are unkillable at the moment. Right. Because... He would need um, 40 eagles to kill us. Right. If, but... if the plume guy might. Right. But what about the rams? How is he planning to kill those rams? It's a problem. But I don't know. I don't know who has advantage now, to be honest. <laughs> I think with, with with very high level play, man should still win this game. But. Yeah. Okay, like, now, now he's, he's killing villagers. Right. That's what we wanted to see 10 minutes ago, right? Keep him off this gold. Now Incas should go skirms for sure. With 130 bills, you can afford some skirms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, Steve Rogers is housed pretty badly, and if those Rams make it to his base, this is going to be a Titanic game. But as we speak, uh, Aquino is about to lose 20 bills right over here in the next five seconds. And there oh, you go. May, what Maya's, Maya's plan right now is to somehow transition to Elite Eagles himself. <laughs> and what Incas need to do is mass Elite Sturms before that happens. Right. And kill those blooms. So that, that's objective for both players. Ha! Uh, why is he not ch Okay, he is chasing with those few plumes and... Uh, he is scared of that one mangonel. Uh, don't you... Mm. Yeah, he should have just ran that wall. Yeah, sure. there's so many ran, um, so many of them. He could yeah. just go multiple angles and just, you know. Oh, oh, wait, wait. That hey. mango is already walking out too. So, uh, okay. That plumes are coming back to kill every villager there, but there are some eagles, but they're getting one shot at as you speak. Literally one 
one. Oh man, this is a massacre of eagles over here. Onagers, he's doing onagers. Ah, why onagers? Why not skirms? As Moju pointed out. Mistake because he he still doesn't have gold control, so he shouldn't go for gold units. <laughs> Absolutely. He's already he's already doing selling everything for eagles. Like wood price is probably yeah, it's fourteen, and food price is twenty one. So this is the time to go mess skirms. Absolutely. <laughs> Eagerly, and look at his resource count. He has t almost 2,500 wood, 1,500 food. We could easily see 20, 25, 30 skirms in no later than a few minutes if this guy really wanted to do that. But instead, he's going to have two mangano uh, two onagers. And I don't think those two onagers will clean that up if unless uh, the Maybe micro is... Uh, yeah, all of a sudden... Because it's on making a lot of farms and <laughs> loses all the blooms in the meantime, but yep. Uh, is this a debate no, no. that I think he's doing that with his villagers, or no, he's just losing them? He's going so oh, for that gold there. Oh. Why is he sending those eagles not and not putting them in the rams? At least put them in the rams, and those two onagers will die without killing anything. And there you go. <laughs> Oh man, this is it's just such a way. Instead of this, he could have 40 skirms and win the game. Because he got quite close to punishing Steve Rogers. Uh, literally, he that was quite a close match when he cleaned out the first two castles. And as you said, if he switched to uh, skirms right away, this would have been a very solid position. He would have uh, rams and skirms and some of his eagles that he could save up. But now, as we speak, guess who's going eagles? Steve. But likewise, if Steve was microing those blooms before he started microing them, he would finish mm -hmm. the game by now. Absolutely. A bit, and that's just what you need to do. Like, running around, sniping everything. There's no counter so far for those blooms. Well, there's one thing that's definitely happening is uh, Aquino is trying to rewall that part of his base, which is actually a good idea. Uh, but that would be the gold he's gonna get. I mean, we may see a longer game over here than we expected because now both uh, Players are reaching similar village count. Uh, yes, uh, he knows way ahead But Steve has caught up with one TC. Oh, I mean two and TCs. Five, and three and actually. Five relics. Yes, go ahead. Yes, and five relics and Akino is still out of gold. Like even those walls don't save him from Bloom standing on the outside. That is true. And we see uh, another castle. But do you think this is a good idea that he's building a castle while knowing he has siege rams inside? He has some egos. I, I don't think Akino wants to delete those his walls right now because he yeah, is that's wall. true. He just made them. He's not gonna delete them right away. Absolutely Look at the right. bank of farms, man. Oh boy. Uh, these are doubt farms for sure. And he doesn't see the castle, so it's actually perfect castle. <laughs> no, now he sees it. Now he sees it. Uh, this is, I think, the best combination he could have get, right? As the mines, both uh, eagles as well as uh, booms at this point. Yeah, this is eventually the arm that you will be forced to make. Because... And main eagles are better than Inca's eagles in... Right, the 100 HP, right? Uh, that, yeah, that 40 more HP better. more is just insane. Well, it's missing a lot of upgrades, actually. Yeah, I know, but he has. He, he, as long as he keeps control of the goal, he will win this game eventually. Like, I don't know what's going on in Aquino's head. Doesn't he see? I have 3,000 food. Uh, sorry, 3,000 wood, 2,000 wood. Why am I not going simply a trash unit, which would be Skirms in this case? But he's focusing on other things. That's, I mean, it's easy for, you know, spectators. Absolutely. And no, no, no. Absolutely. This is easy for us to cast. I'm pretty sure Akina would destroy me 10 times uh, out of 10 times in a row. But at least, I mean, he does know that he has so much resources. He doesn't have gold. So perhaps he should at least start at this point. Maybe, you know, oh, think out of the box. There we go. Archer range coming up, guys. There we go. But I think it's too late. No, we will steam. Because now Maya is doing the Eagles. And, uh, and he's really like, tough, really. said, I don't know, 10 minutes ago, who's going to be faster? So, may I did Elite Eagles first. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And one those, once those Eagles and Plum enter that base, I think it is. It's... And Eagle and Plum absolutely destroys Eagle and Skirm. That's just no contest Abs there. Absolutely. 
And we already see a few uh, plumes already uh, going in uh, to snipe some villagers uh, as usual. And I think this is getting really, really. Eldorado too. So one Derp day. in the chat oh, is saying, uh, what a disaster. Oh boy. Disaster. I think Derp should coach his lunacy buddy a bit more. <laughs> oh boy. I'm hoping he's going to hear that too. Uh, I already told Derp to leave the clan, but you know, he's a loyal guy. He's oh. taking out for his buddies. So. Oh boy. And by the way, I think. Those eagles, just seeing them, I think Aquino may just call GG. And there is a GG! Oh boy, what a what a game. We will do a short interview, I will let them know. But this was a close game. Actually. Absolutely. This game wasn't really close, but this one was. Yes. The first one, uh, as you pointed out, the major thing was not to do uh, champions. Uh, he should have done at least champion to con contest properly. Just ar doing archers and rams. Just Not just... doing uh, like arbalest. Yeah, say. exactly. <laughs> All right, so they will be here shortly, uh, and we will be able to ask them a few questions and see about why they picked what sieves they picked and what were their plans. <laughs> Hello. Hello, welcome. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm tired now. Venka, I always wanted to know, how old are you? <laughs> First question of the fucking hour. Oh, no, that's, that's a serious question, because I think you're very young, but maybe I'm mistaken. Please. Yeah, I'm 22, so not very young, but not too oh, old. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Oh, yeah, I would say you're about 20, so, okay. Cool. He's old enough to do fast team plumes, man. Like, old school, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I decided for that because his main gold. I also saw, uh, saw he, he has won another gold for Vart, so I tried it. Yeah, it was a good idea. That's uh, it was we, what we was talking about. Because uh, you have seen uh, all these gold, so. it was a it was a good idea to go with just one DC plumes and castle forward. I was really scared of Inca's eagles with that high armor. Yeah, well, I, I think your eagles are even better than those. They get more yeah, HP. But... I, I mean, yeah, you, you did the right math read. I think if he had extra golds inside, then he could win. Yeah, uh, but I saw do, uh, those two extra golds. And they were outside as well, so yeah. Yes. So, you know. I was lucky with that map, and I think I, I was lucky also in first game. <laughs> yeah, but first game was like more of a sieve win, I think it was just... Yes. I, I, I believed in... Slaps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't know why like lunacy guys are picking Vikings. I think they're big Vikings too, right? In here. Yeah, I, I, Vikings, I was so. surprised a lot. <laughs> oh, it <my> seems. <laughs> I do have one question uh, for uh, uh, Steve over here. Uh, your choice for Britons, if you did pick, I mean, what was your uh, thought process for having Britons? Did you hope that he's going to get a monk sieve and you're going to use Britons? I mean, what, what was your reason behind Britons? I know they're a pretty formidable sieve, but there are obviously other sieves as well. Uh, which why, why would you pick a Britons in this exact uh, reason? Well, I think they are not really bad against Monk Rush. Uh, he would go with Byzantines and also... Barmies are quite weak versus archer saves, mm -hmm. and I feel comfortable uh, with Britons. Perfect, I see. And I think Mayans would have also kind of helped you in the same manner because you still have an archer save versus Burmies and Byzantine. Yes, but I I wanted Mayans 
just to have them because they are really strong. And I hope I hoped he won't play Incas against against me in second game. I was expecting something more something more crazy. Like with like, the Burmese. Yes. Do you think about uh, drafting Teutons? Because I think Teutons are great against all of his forces. They will destroy them all. Uh, no, even they have the bonus against monks. I I usually die with that, with them, so I don't want don't like uh, them to pick in one way. comfortable with Britons. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Britons are great. I think they beat all those devs, except Incas. Like, if you got Britons versus Incas, you might... Yeah, I didn't want Britons in that game, because Incas were really... Uh, would be really strong for Britons. I wouldn't have chance, I think. Well, uh, let's talk about your bands. Um, why did you ban Malay and Aztec, other than the fact that they're, of course, all pieces? But what were you uh, disliking that you did not want to play against them? Uh, well, I saw I downloaded some of his games, and usually in tournaments he played with Newtons or Aztecs, and I think with Aztecs he played really well, so I didn't want him to have them. Okay, that makes sense. Joy, do you have oh. any questions? Mm, not really. No, he played really well. Uh, he did a good draft, uh, probably better than the opponent. Uh, and yeah, just well played. And good luck next against me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> that would be true. I will need that. Oh, Ovenka, I picked you to be the grand finalist against Derp. So you got to do well to prove me right. <laughs> You have to listen to Lord Modry over here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Always call him that. Always. I just hope Modry is not uh, going to cast the next uh, my Titanic against uh, Ovinka. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, why not? <laughs> if he wants to, more when, than welcome. <laughs> when will it happen? But I'm not going to be online for the next three days, I think. So. Okay, oh, we play yeah. tomorrow, Steve, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, so. <laughs> well, this was a fantastic game from both uh, you and uh, uh, your opponent, but I think, I, I'm not sure if you went offline or you went for a smoke, as uh, Derp said. Uh, too bad, we would have loved to hear his side or his uh, thought process, why why he did Arbalest and Rams, why not uh, anything else, and... Uh, why he and didn't when him, so yeah. a lot earlier but uh well either way he played def definitely a, a whole you know solid play but uh some things could have been done differently and uh, could have ended up in a different scenario but uh either way this was amazing uh, and thank you both of you for casting and thanks to all the viewers who joined and uh we, I will have my game uh, upcoming, I'm guessing, either Sunday, hopefully. Uh, we do have a few other matches that will be played. I will put that on the screen right now for everybody to have a quick look. Uh, the next one would be King Marv vs Magic Rusher on Sunday, 17 GMT. So feel free to tune in. Uh, and that should be a close match as well. I'm guessing they're both similar uh, a similar rank uh, all the other details are on the website so if you have any questions still do feel free to ask me and Aquino is actually coming so we actually will uh, we can wait a bit more for him uh, if that's okay with uh, you Modri and uh, yeah, I was Joey. gonna leave but if sure, comes, sure 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 uh, sure let's wait a few seconds and see if he's gonna, he's gonna come uh, all right yeah, we'd like to ask him some things. Yep, uh, definitely. I mean, he played uh, but, in my well, opinion, it, really good. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he played good, really and good. I think he was just a little bit unlucky, man, because uh, on the first game, he just got uh, the counter sieve because I think uh, he was pretty fine against all the other sieves. Mm -hmm. I think uh, he got just the uh, the right opponent uh, for AC. Akino? Yo, Akino. what's up? Akino? Oh, hello. Welcome, Akino. Hello. How are you? I'm good. 
All right, so let's uh, begin this uh, very short interview. Uh, well played, first of all, uh, obviously, and uh, we can have Modri and uh, Joey ask you a few questions. Go ahead. So I would like to ask you, why did you do Arbalest in the first game against uh, Slavs? What uh, was you expecting Slavs to do in late game? Well, and I mean, you know, he was just booming. He did not do any scouts, any monks, anything. He did just boom. And yeah, uh, yeah. I was just not sure about your choice. That's well, why I ask you. It was obvious he was just booming, right? But and he would go for siege onagers eventually. But like, I, I needed something fast. I felt like I wanted to put pressure so he can't expand mm -hmm. and make uh, like. Forward castle and pressure, but I backfired hard. When I lost the castle on the right side, I was like, fuck. <laughs> oh. yeah. yeah, that hurt so much because I could have bought so much time there. But... Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah, I think you were just unlucky, as I said uh, to the guys, uh, because uh, I think Slavs are a really good counter to Vikings. Uh, I, I mean, thought even would... uh, Britons, Spanish, and Mayans. Uh, could be a better matchup for Vikings. Yeah, I I didn't think you would open with Slavs. I, I thought you would go like Britons. And like, you know, Incas and Vikings, the reason why I picked them is because like you picked all the archers and I think Vikings fast imp or, or fastish imp with boom behind and sea drams just count as Britons. Mayans usually. Yeah. You you picked yeah, Slavs. Sure. Like the one if I didn't want versus Vikings. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what we said too, man. Go ahead, Modri, with your question. What would you ask him? Yeah, my question was why pick Vikings in the first place? I mean, why even draft them? Was that something Derp told you? or? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, wait, there we go. No, no, Do I you just. consider them a top 10 Civ on 1v1 Arena? Yeah, versus his draft, definitely. It was just unlucky that I got. Slavs, like I think it's Vikings true. is super strong. They they can defend defend smush super easily, and they beat all the archers, and they're super fast. I don't and, think um, they beat Britons. I think Britons are about even, maybe a little bit better. But yeah, for sure, you were unlucky. Like Slav is the worst opponent you can get out of those. Yeah, I felt like if he went Britons. Maybe four castle or something. I just boom like twenty seven minutes in three TC and C drams. Right, he would boom as well with buttons for onager long ball, right? Four TC boom, and then you kind of. I think he will be slower. Though. I don't know. It's just preference. It's, yeah, it depends on the map and a lot of. Um, other I will be back in just two minutes. You please go ahead with your interview, okay? I will be back in just about one twenty seconds. Thank that you. was my only question. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, Joey, do you have uh, more questions? I had another question. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll be back. You go ahead. Why did you not do skirms a little bit earlier on the second game? Yeah, just. I mean, they had only <laughs> two mangoes and uh, full plumes. That would yeah. actually win, win you the game. Like, when you were selling, for, at first it was fine, but then the price was down <laughs> to 2010, then you should have just done skirms and you could. When you got rid of those two forward castles with rams, if you switch to skirms immediately, you would win the game for sure. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That's because um, you saw the map and you were probably... I agree, I had nothing. <laughs> and I was housed at 75, Bob. Yeah, and I the think. Kino had like, I don't know, 3k wood, 2k food, something like that. <laughs> so that's a lot of skirms. Yeah. I guess I'm just bad. I don't... <laughs> no, you're not bad. Of course you're not. I think uh, the second map was not the best as well. <laughs> Only yeah. with uh, those uh, three, four ties of gold on the back and everything forward. Maybe you should have gone for eagles uh, for some map control or just to watch what uh, your opponent is doing at least uh, if you have a bad map like this and, if uh, i yeah. go eagles and uh, plumes just counted easily in castle yeah i mean you can just do two or three eagles just to have a vision on the map you know what i mean so you can see if uh, one forward <laughs> comes so I, I mean it's not a big uh, investment at all yeah but even if i see it i can't stop it so oh you know like... what you you shouldn't have done the fourth pc that was actually would have stayed 3TC, your 
in time could be pretty much the same as his and then get more traps out and then you can like go from tc for egos is kind of weird <laughs> yeah but i can never like win trap war versus like two castles but and... then i mean if you keep repairing you, i would yeah the problem was you only had control of one gold so was... My my thought was I have to go for TC so I can sell use the market because I have no gold. <laughs> so oh, he was going one TC up. When did you know that? I didn't know that he was one TC. I, I thought he was like two TCs. Yeah, so he was only one TC up. Oh, and I'm not too good. Oh yeah, I th I don't think you you had like three hundred wood uh, in Castle H. You probably wasn't sure if you were <laughs> gonna click imp or not. You could have done more farms, but yeah, it was minute twenty six, one TC. So if you Aquino you know, went three TCs, you could have had basically the same uptime. But yeah, whatever, it's you know hindsight is twenty twenty. So well, I I thought the Eagles would do a lot better there, but two castles oh, turns yeah. out to be really strong versus Eagles. <laughs> 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 oh. Well, the eagles are basically just like suicide meat shield for your traps to kill his castles. That's usually how you can never kill his army as long as the castles are up. You just gotta keep. Yeah. To be honest, I, I thought it was over when I killed the castles. So uh, yeah. It would have been over if we were really yeah, trying so hard to ask you to add like fifty skirms behind that. It would have been <laughs> over, but you did not do that. <laughs> it would. Because at that point, it would. Know. I think, like yeah, but uh, my, my thought was that I, I kill the castles, right? And then I get control of the gold back and make more eagles then. But, but you don't yeah. kill the plumes, you only kill the castles, and his plumes were still killing your shit, so <laughs> Yeah, but I checked his upgrades, he had like no defense and he had elite upgrade really late, so I thought like I could easily clean that, but turns out it was not that You had uh the extra armor, maybe, but No, he had no castle at all. Yeah. Yeah, with the extra armor, if he did have a castle and he did manage to snag that last upgrade, then obviously the plus two would actually do help a lot. But uh, you had, uh, this was my question as well throughout the whole game, is you had 3,000 wood, 2,000 food. We just wanted you to see, go all in skirms and rams and keep massing your eagles because at some point he would also switch to eagles. And you could even load your uh, ram with those eagles and then push his base like you did. Uh, you, you were doing the first attempt. You could have done a second attempt like that with skirms. And I think this would have really, really see, uh, you know, turned the game in your favor a whole lot uh, easier. You did add the archer range, but it was kind of, you know, at the point where he already had his elite eagles yeah. in the play. Yeah, it was anyway, already guys. I'm out. I gotta go. Oh, I gotta eat. Thanks so much, Modri. Thank you for casting. See Thank you. you. See you next time. No man. See you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. I just didn't think about the skirms earlier. Uh, obviously, you played a very solid. It's just a matter of fact that sometimes some decisions are not as uh, easily thought in the moment of time. Like, even if yeah, I was in your position it's easier as modri pointed out before it was easier for us to say ah oh, why is he not doing this uh, why is he not doing that but uh once you actually are in the game it's a lot more stressful and you have 10 more things going in your head and you prioritize them as as you go but hey this was uh still a very very good game from both of you and uh hey it's not over yet there is a whole mm -hmm. uh, uh draft uh, underneath this i don't want to call it the loser's bracket but it is well i am sitting there <laughs> well i am sitting there uh <laughs> From day one, if that helps you, but uh, but uh, it is what it is. But we all get a second chance, and we all get to play one more time. And uh, the finalists from that that bracket will still come up and play with the finalists of this bracket. So it's not over by a long shot. Yeah, we'll be there in like uh, two or three days. Yep. After I play against uh, Steve Rogers. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyways, this was great turnout. Thank you so much, guys, for participating. And we will see you all over again in the next few games. Thank you so much. And have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye. Right. Thanks for cussing. See ya. My pleasure. Have see a good you. one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.